Hi, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Liz. And we're going to give you a presentation about infant nutrition. As you all know, there are many different ways to feed an infant. Today, we'll talk about research concerning breastfeeding and formula. We're going to try to convince you today that breastfeeding is normal, natural, and necessary. Stephanie, how long should women breastfeed? Well, Liz, according to primate models, mammals similar to humans breastfeed until the offspring's first adult molar. For humans, that's about six years old. Our evolutionary ancestors breastfed for about four years on average. And today, the World Health Organization recommends a minimum of two years of breastfeeding, and the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that moms breastfeed for at least one year. Thus, it is completely normal to breastfeed the child for longer than a year. In the United States, however, only about 20% of mothers are breastfeeding at all when their child is one year old. That's only one in five women, a very low number. Not breastfeeding is affecting the health and well-being of children. So Stephanie, why is breastfeeding important? Why breastfeed? Well Liz, the brains of human infants aren't completely developed when the baby is born. In fact, newborn infants' brains are only about 25% of their adult brain volume. It takes proper care for the brain to develop well and completely. When an infant's brain is fed breast milk, the brain is washed with the chemicals it needs to build itself. Human milk contains thousands of ingredients essential for infant growth and development. These ingredients help build the infant's body, including the immune system. But what are the contents of breast milk? What's so great about it? Breast milk contains 200 essential fatty acids that help brain cells develop. It's also 80% alive with essential immune factors, keeping children protected against infection and disease. But what about formula? Do you know anything about the contents of formula, Liz? What's so bad about formula? Of the 200 essential fatty acids found in breast milk, infant formula only contains two. Infant formula contains chemicals and toxins that can cause damage to health. Chemicals used in rocket fuel production have even been found in infant formulas. Powdered formulas are now considered non-sterile by most health agencies. Breastfeeding protects babies. What are some more advantages of breast milk, Liz? Breast milk contains thousands of ingredients that infants' brains need for development. It's a full course meal for infants. Infant formula only contains around two dozen ingredients, making it the equivalent of just a slice of bread. And since formula is classified as a food, it is not strictly regulated by the Food and Drug Administration for toxins or safety. So it has all the appeal of a moldy piece of bread. So to avoid the harmful toxins found in formula, moms should breastfeed. And for the health and well-being of the baby, moms should breastfeed for at least one year. If moms are supposed to breastfeed for at least a year, what happens when they want or need to go back to work? Well, Liz, for many years it has been difficult for moms to breastfeed and go to work, but now there are laws that help moms do both. According to federal law, employers with at least 50 employees must provide break time and space for breastfeeding or pumping. Some organizations even allow moms to bring their babies to work with them. But how do you know how to breastfeed? Is it instinctual? Does it come naturally? If you haven't seen breastfeeding, how will you know what to do? Do women need to be taught how to breastfeed? Well, Liz, they might. Inexperienced moms may need help from a lactation consultant. There are several organizations such as La Leche League or Women, Infants, and Children that help moms learn to breastfeed. Lactation consultants will help mothers realize that breast or nipple size does not influence breastfeeding, it is not normal for breastfeeding to hurt, and breastfeeding mothers do not lactate uncontrollably. So even though breastfeeding is natural, it does require some practice. And with a little help, 99% of women can successfully breastfeed. But Liz, isn't formula feeding easier? Isn't it faster? Well actually, Stephanie, formula takes time to prepare properly. In most cases, caregivers don't prepare infant formula properly, which results in contamination. 
Infant formula needs to be prepared in a sterile environment because infants are most vulnerable to viruses, bacteria, and infection during their first year of life. So formula could make babies sick if the proper steps aren't taken. So how many steps does it take to properly prepare formula? Well, let's see. Step one, you have to sanitize the bottle and the formula scoop for clean preparation. Step two, you have to measure out the proper formula to water ratio, which is important to prevent malnutrition. Step three, you have to shake the bottle very well. Step four, you have to evenly heat the bottle appropriately to prevent the heated plastic from releasing toxins. This means not putting the plastic bottle in the microwave. Then step five, you have to feed the baby. Step six, you have to burp the baby. And step seven, you have to fully clean the bottle of any remaining residue. So all these steps actually add up to quite a lot of time. For a total of 26 extra minutes devoted to preparing formula. Okay, so it takes an extra 26 minutes. Big deal, I have that time. So if prepared properly, what's the problem with formula feeding? Well, let's compare breastfeeding with formula. How is breastfeeding better for babies? Breast milk actually changes with the needs of the child. Formula doesn't do that. A breastfeeding baby controls the size of each mouthful, but not a formula-fed baby. At the breast, the baby can regulate how much he eats, but not at the bottle. And when feeding at the breast, the baby stops when he's full, but not when being fed through a bottle. So again, breastfeeding is better. Stephanie, how is the baby protected through breastfeeding? Well, Liz, human milk contains many disease-fighting factors that prevent infections and help build a strong immune system. Breastfeeding reduces the risk of sudden infant death syndrome. It is also protective against high blood pressure, high cholesterol, cancer, diabetes, and obesity. Breastfed children are less likely to be depressed later in life. They are also less likely to have allergies or be picky eaters. How about formula? Formula fails in all these areas. How else does breastfeeding protect the child? Well, formula-fed babies sleep longer and deeper than breastfed babies. But Stephanie, don't we want babies to sleep longer? Well, no, Liz. Actually, we don't. When babies fall into a deep sleep for too long, it's not healthy for the baby's metabolism. The baby's more likely to die from sudden infant death syndrome in deep sleep and receives fewer feedings throughout the night, which could lead to malnutrition. Infants are designed to sleep lightly. They wake frequently for feedings. Breastfed children don't sleep as long, which regulates their feeding and metabolism in the natural way. But what about mom's sleep? Doesn't mom need sleep too? How does breastfeeding help mom sleep? Well, Stephanie, if you need to formula feed during the night, you must wake up fully and sterilize the bottle in order to prepare the formula. Breastfeeding moms get as much or even better sleep when they breastfeed through the night and their infant is close by. Why is breastfeeding good for mothers? Breastfeeding reduces the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. It reduces the risk of diabetes, reduces pregnancy weight, and reduces depression. It also encourages bonding with the baby. Again, formula fails on all these counts. Can most moms breastfeed if they smoke or are depressed? What if they're on medication, birth control, or have had cosmetic breast surgery? Can moms still breastfeed? Well, actually, yes. Most moms can still breastfeed if they arrange medications with the doctor. Moms should collaborate with a lactation consultant and the family doctor in any of these instances. But what about premature babies? What's best for them? Breast milk or formula? Well, breast milk and skin-to-skin -skin contact is the best medicine for premature babies. A mom's body will automatically produce breast milk that is specially designed to nourish her premature baby. Mom's milk protects premature babies from infection and even death. Let's compare outcomes for kids. Which is better, breast milk or formula? Well, correlational studies have shown that breastfed kids are more likely to graduate from high school than formula-fed kids, while formula-fed kids have more mental health problems. And breastfed kids are more likely to have stronger bonds with their mothers. 
Correlational studies have also shown that breastfed kids tend to be higher in intelligence than formula-fed kids, while formula-fed kids are at greater risks of becoming addicts. And breastfed kids are more likely to be emotionally secure than formula-fed kids. Wait a minute. Pause. I was fed formula. I don't have any of those problems. Well, Liz, being fed formula doesn't mean that you're doomed to not graduate from high school or that you'll end up in prison later in life. It only means that there's a greater risk of these things. Evidence shows that breast milk is the standard the formula cannot measure up to. When you were a baby, we didn't know as much about the importance of breastfeeding like we do today. But since we now know how important breastfeeding is, you can help make a difference and improve infant feeding practices by breastfeeding your children and encouraging others to breastfeed their children, even if you were fed formula. Okay, so even though I was formula fed, I should still breastfeed my kids. What else is bad about formula? Well, Stephanie, formula feeding is expensive. You must buy the formula itself, bottles, cleaning supplies, and then preparing the formula and sanitizing those bottles takes up a lot of time. And we all know time is money. So all this is actually very expensive. Well, just how expensive is formula feeding, Liz? To feed a three-month-old on a common infant formula brand, it costs $26.25 each week. Enough bottled water to make that formula costs $14 a week for a total of $40.25 each week. So how much is that in a month? It's $161 each month. So how much is that in a year? It's almost $2,000 each year on just formula and water. In addition to those weekly costs, you also must buy a bottle sanitizer, a bottle warmer, several bottles, and a bottle brush to clean the bottles with. Breastfeeding, however, is free. So how do you safeguard against the extra expense of formula? Well, breastfeeding immediately and frequently after the child is born guarantees that mom won't run out of milk later on. Milk production actually adapts to fulfill the child's changing nutritional needs. Okay, so after learning all of this information, what are some of the advantages of breastfeeding that we've mentioned? Well, compared to infant formula, breast milk is more sterile. It's of better quality than formula. It's more easily digested and it's more natural and affordable than infant formula. Formula fails again. We've been talking a lot about moms, but what about dad? What role do dads play in caring for the infant? Well, Liz, babies need more than just breast milk. They also need quick responsiveness to their needs so they don't develop a stressed brain, touch through holding and skin-to-skin -skin contact so they become happy and healthy, someone to play with to develop their social and attentional skills, and multiple responsive caregivers can help keep everyone happy. So even though dads and other members of the family can't breastfeed the baby, they can take part in all these crucial aspects of childcare. We hope we have convinced you that breastfeeding is normal, natural, and necessary. In the case of a child having to be formula fed, Remember that raising children encompasses many aspects other than what they are fed. The risks of formula feeding that we've mentioned will be reduced through the love and support that you provide your child. So here's a list of things that you can do. You can encourage moms who want to breastfeed. You can tell them what you know about how much better breastfeeding is than formula feeding. You can talk to your family and friends about what you learned today. You can be supportive of women who are breastfeeding in public. And most importantly, you can be ready to breastfeed your children.